Hi, hey, everyone. My name is Mr. Fruit, and welcome back to GG Over Easy episode 69. We make a joke about that later. Don't worry about it. We have special guest Dork for this episode, as requested by Reddit. And to do so in this episode, as always, when we have guests, we go through Dork's lore, talk about where he started in gaming, and how we met him, how he met others, how this all happened, how that all came together, among some other off topic discussions. And then we get to a whole bunch of Patreon questions. All in all, it's the GG Over Easy Podcast, baby. You know what to expect. So what was the favorite time you guys 69 <laughs> Let's get into it. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the GG Over Easy Podcast episode. <laughs> you know what it. it is. Hey, we are a real podcast. 69, I feel like, is another milestone. A milestone episode. for sure. Dude. You get to say, like, nice. Oh, my God. <laughs> episode <laughs> 69. <laughs> and I'm as sure you the heard podcast there, audio listeners loved hearing that. Yeah. You know, this is, you know, but it is the 69 episode. So, again, if, if it is the time to bring out the wacky farts, it is. And, I mean, oh, God. Well, yeah. uh, our guest for the episode. If you couldn't tell, is Dork. Hello. As requested by Reddit. Or subreddit. Slash r, yeah. or r slash Mr. Fruit. Everybody loves you, Dork. Yay. Everybody loves you. Um, I don't, I, I don't know if I told you, Dork. But I said on the podcast, the, those Among Us stickers, yours was the second most popular. Second? Yep. Yeah. Wow. Who was the first? Yeah, it was me. It was hey. But honestly, not by much. It was like five. Yeah, it was like oh. right. It was pretty close. Yeah, people like we don't care. We just like dorks uh <laughs> robot uh among us character. Which again, you know, <laughs> I will say I, I feel like no one knows that. I I did the design for Dork's OC. It's true. What? I did yeah. not know that. I don't remember I don't remember when you asked Dork. It's probably like two years ago or something. Yeah, yeah. And I don't even know. He just like was in my DMs or something. He's like, hey, like, could you just like sketch out this idea of like, I just want like a robot? And he like briefly described something. I was like, yeah, sure. And so I sketched something and then that's what he went with. And then he got like actual people to make like better art of it. <laughs> actual people. Yeah. I bet didn't I ask. Was, Dork, was it like one of those things where like you put up a little, you had like a napkin, and you were like, this is what I want. <laughs> like. <laughs> So so like, somewhat a little rough, but Mr. Fur, can you recall the first time we recorded with Dork? I can recall it. <laughs> <laughs> can you? I can't. That's why, like, oh, I can easy recall Dude, it. It's like the best episode yet. It wasn't yeah, it was Destiny, the... right? It was, I thought it was no. Dead by Daylight. No. Uh, oh, that might be it. I, that that was actually that was that's, that's the like, earliest I remember. I it was right around there because that was I know it was either the first or one of the first. I I think it was, um, I mean I think it was the dead but was it, it it was one of the oh my god now now I can't remember. I'm thinking it's that would it, be my it was, guess. It was either Dead now. by Daylight or Overwatch. Um, well, it because could be Overwatch. Yeah, that's a good because w- both of those dork said like one thing, but everyone was like, "I fucking love dork." I fucking love <laughs> yeah. dork. It, and the Dead by Daylight one Bring was where f- f- Dork just like super bailed on Fruit when the killer popped out of the grass. Oh shit! And Dork ran into the grass, leaving Fruit to die. And then the Overwatch episode, people like w- were going crazy because Dork was just like. T- this will protect us, and that's all he said. Oh yeah, with the, over, with, uh, over the entire episode, we're like the original corpse. Like, like... <laughs> this will protect us. This this yeah, will protect us. I, I do remember that. Yeah, no, ah, uh, classic. Yeah, that was a good while. But I think we mentioned this. Lord only knows when. Might have been in the Fruit Summit podcast, or but how we met everyone originally. And Dork, we met through Blue. Dork was a friend yeah. of Blue's. Yeah, Dork's was like Blue's guy. Like, <laughs> I don't know. Is. Now, do you know the lore? I don't uh, know how, how the you lore guys of met. Dork and Blue met. Yeah, how yeah. did Blue and Dork meet? It's been years. It's been I remember years. the tip of my head. 
It is 69. So. <laughs> <laughs> like, it took me a second. I was like, tip of your head. Like, the, like you could have oh. said tongue, but no, he deliberately yeah, said like, oh, head. Oh, okay, the head of his tongue. It. Come on, guys. Yeah. What's wrong with you? Yeah. God. Well, you know your tongue anatomy? <laughs> <laughs> I think so you guys met Destiny One, I'm guessing. Well, it was I met Dork in Abs Discord because that's where. Where did you come from first? Though it was from Mike's stream, right, Dork? Yes. Wait, Mike, the feedback. Yeah, I love Mike. Oh. He's awesome. Yeah, I, we need to have him on the podcast sometime. He's awesome. <laughs> so then, how did you find Ab then, Dork? If that's where it all started. Oh, I've met through uh, met uh, Ab through Mike. He was talking about him during. Uh, he, uh, Mike was talking about Ab doing his speedruns on Outlast, and then he decided to play Destiny One. And I was a huge fan of Destiny One, and I was alone at the time, didn't have any friends. I was like, oh, you know, maybe I can uh, do a raid with him to get the one exotic gun. I kept um, kicking my ass in PvP class. and kept losing every time. <laughs> this and is like, prime yeah. destiny time. Like, yeah. how do you get that gun, man? I was like, oh, you gotta get do the raid. I'm like, the raid? That requires six people. But I don't have uh, anyone. And so I started watching uh, Ab stream and it's like, wow. This guy's pretty cool. Pretty, pretty chill. And he was doing a uh, Oh, uh, what's what's the what's the word? Vod? Uh, uh, like raiding with uh, viewers. Oh yeah, oh, oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Gosh, like, sure oh, goes. cool! I'll sub to this guy. And then when we kept talking, or I kept talking in his chat, and eventually uh, he mentioned uh, TeamSpeak, and I'm like, oh, team cool, speak. the whole team. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Good old TeamSpeak. That was the first then, time I ever downloaded TeamSpeak. Was like way back then too that was for dados it's because dado yeah. was like i like i was like do discord i was like i have a team speak i'm like all right <laughs> <laughs> fine channel I remember, move i don't even remember what i don't even remember how the team speak i think it was just people just hung out there because people from abs chat would hang out in the team speak and then god this was six years ago mm-hmm Holy That's crazy. Crap. <laughs> so me and Dark have been gooning and since TeamSpeak. And then Shark actually kept popping in and out. Yeah, Shark. Sure. I remember. That does sound and like Shark. too. Man. Oh, those are the days. Those were the prime days. Them. Yeah. Where I so could it's... eat without <laughs> feeling guilty. <laughs> My metabolism was faster. Of course, when we have a guest on, we like talk about their gaming lore or and you can kind of go as far as like you can think or like you want you can start as early. But like, what's the earliest kind of like video gaming memories like you, you have and like kind of game? Oh, the whole... that's like the special memory to me. Uh, my first uh, console I ever had was the Game Boy Color. It's a good one. And my first game was actually Pokemon Yellow. That's oh. an even better one. Wait, what was the color of your Game Boy? Oh, good Very question. Important. I think it was like, um, what was it, dark red or green, as far Ooh. as I remember. Mine was Because I remember personally. one time, my uh, mom came home from work, and I think she was like a, a janitor at the time, and then she found a, what, what was it, a transparent purple Game Boy Color left in the bathroom. No way. Yeah, and uh, it was decked out. Uh, the we dude's Pokemon was max level. He got the dolls and everything. <laughs> so I'm like, oh, that's yoink. cool. And then I presume an idiot like me, because I'm still new to video games. I start a new game. Oh no. Uh, yeah. How old were you? The same. Ah, good question. I believe. Uh, I want to say seven. Okay. Is that or younger? You had no idea what you guys started on. Might as well get in your crack, you know? <laughs> <laughs> I found this laying around. And... Yeah. Pokemon's literally crack. It's crack that lasts you your whole lifetime because I'm still addicted to it. The first Game Boy I ever had was the advanced one, and that was when it went side, like, kind of went horizontal. Yeah. 
I didn't have the OG box. My my sister uh, did. It was a lime green one, I think. The one my hmm. sister had. At least the one I can recall. So that's and then at the one point I had a Super Nintendo. I, w- I was playing uh Mario and this uh it was the RPG Mario. That's oh. I had a boy. I was gonna say hopefully it's the the RPG one dude. That's then, so good. Super Mario RPG. It's yeah, different, dude. It was. And me being still new and little, I didn't know what saving meant. And I oh, kept no. starting a new game over and over and over <laughs> again. But I enjoyed it. Like, I enjoyed actually playing it, the colors, everything. I felt like, the same wow, mission over cool. and over again. Like, <laughs> yeah. I was like, huh. Is this all there is? I keep starting okay. over again. Yeah. I wonder why. That's why so, somewhere along right. the way, someone's like, we should invent autosaves. It probably helped a lot of people. Yeah, but then, like, you can get the Skyrim autosave when, like, you're you saved right on a death swing, so you're just uh, like, yeah, like a just, death kind yeah. of screen at uh, all uh, times. Uh, and sometimes the game crashes because due to autosave. Yeah. And then you're like, "What's my last save I have?" You're like, "Oh, High Hothgard. That was like 20 levels ago." <laughs> oh, right. so... how do I get out of this? <laughs> well, okay, so if that was where you started, then. You obviously started gaming. What would you say was the most defining game for you that really just changed everything? Damn, that's a good question. Uh, trying to roll back memory here. Uh, honestly, I've the only thing I I could think about is Hercules on the PS One. I never is that the that. game I'm thinking of? Where it was like the 2D the, the side scroller? Yeah, yeah, the Disney movie where you get the, like the little cups and it looks like yep. this. Oh, yep. I, could, I could never get past the horse guy. I just yeah, never got that... past the water. That was the only. And then I didn't have. I wasn't good enough to get past that. And if I ever did, I only had like maybe one or two lives. So and it's yeah. like I don't know what happens at this point. So like until I figure out when I was like what. Uh, a year after I got it, like you just got to ground pound him. They had to ride him, like in the movies. So I'm like, whoa, that's so cool. Can you play that on Steam? Is that out on Steam now? Like, I wonder if like you can play that somewhere. I need to do. I need to stream an that. emulator I need, that's somewhere. Like, that and the Lion King game. I don't know if you guys ever oh, played the old yeah. school Lion King game. Yeah, and there Tarzan. Was like, there was like a giraffe you couldn't get past or something. Like it was something you were There's running also... really fast. Super Nintendo Spider Man. I don't know if you had that one. I remember that one. Uh-uh. Just awful as a kid. It's like a- you couldn't get past like the <laughs> second enemy. I was like, what? Another one I remember is a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. There was like a water level with these like zappy like leaves. I hated those things. Could Dude, never get past that. I remember those. I, I don't have the N- Super Nintendo, but everything. Uh, I always only play like a Game Boy Advance because you know those cartridges have like 99 games in one. Yeah. Yeah. I basically like play those. I'm like, holy crap, this is cool. But the saves just keep getting corrupted. I'm like, man, this sucks. Yeah. All the battery issues and clocks and all that stuff those things had. Do you yeah. still have that OG Game Boy uh, dork or no way? Uh, Yeah. It's in my uh, dad's car. I lost the back plating for the batteries, but that's the only thing yeah, I have left. Works. Yeah. I don't have anything near like that old left. I mean, I still have my cards, but like nothing like the consoles or anything like that. Yeah. Those things. I think I have cool. my color. My N64 is actually downstairs. Um, I think one of my have brothers has the Super Nintendo. No? N64. Well, no, because those cables don't connect at TVs anymore. So I, I would need to get a converter. Yeah. Um, mm-hmm. Because the old RGBs. Um. Mm-hmm. I have a good amount. Um, and then I even have some of the old brick n- Game Boys uh, oh. all the way back. And it's just it's like a lot of so memories. Fat. They were. So, so after the Game Boy dork, what would you say was like, like you're in high school now, you know? Is, are you oh. still gaming then or nah? Or- yeah, I was still gaming. Being like an, uh, what was it? An introverted little shit. <laughs> Hey, felt that unite mm-hmm. separately. Like, hey, you want to hang out with us after school? Like, man, no, <laughs> no, no, because no. like 
we live like so far away from school. I don't have a car up to myself. And we kept traveling. And it's like weird because we're not like around neighborhoods. We, uh, what was it? Uh, earliest high school memory was me being in Guam. We oh. were living in a hotel room. Guam? Yeah. All right, well, then let's back up there. So, clearly, you've lived a couple different places. Can you mm -hmm. recall the timeline, like where, where you were born, and then up until now, your adventure? I'm interested. Because that's well, out there. I was born in the Philippines, but, and my dad was in the Navy. So, we oh. kept traveling. Yeah, I'm not... Uh, what was it? You're an army, baby. I can't remember much. I remember in the Philippines... Then going to Japan, ooh, because my dad was stationed there, and oh my god, the food there was great. I can imagine. Um, yeah, <laughs> we'll never get to um, go again. Yeah, I remember getting permanent. my first Beyblade, uh, uh, a controller that's like radio. I was like, oh my god, it's crazy. The toy I wish I had was the. Uh... Yu-Gi-Oh thing, the oh. cards you could put on. I Bro, I fucked with that so heavy. Holy, <laughs> I wanted that. Blue so locks bad. in the class, like you're not ready, dude. <laughs> I expect my truck. My blue card. eyes, white dragon deck, bitch. <laughs> uh, how old were you when you're in Japan, Dork? Yeah. Uh, how old? Were... I still remember the? What was it? How old were you in Japan? Oof. Say about. Around the age of 10? Oh, wow. So you've lived in the Philippines then for a while, then, like your first 10 years now. Oh, right? no. I was, uh, I was a baby at the time. Okay. Yeah. Do you, and then, can you read different languages? No, because the only thing I remember is just me automatically learning English. Yep. That's right. That's <laughs> it. That's it. Let's go, baby. <laughs> like we, I was like, yeah, we, we, we go to different uh, foreign lands, but I only learn English. Yeah, unfortunate. Yeah, my parents speak Tagalog, like, back and forth, and I never picked up on it. It was weird. Is that the yeah. native language of the Philippines? Yeah, yeah Tagalog. My, uh, never my, heard my dad speaks Spanish with, like, my grandma, and, like, because they're all from Colombia, so it's, like, the oh. one thing I wish my dad taught me was to how to speak Spanish, but... He like didn't really even like think about it. He was just like, I don't know. He's like, I just spoke English to my kids. <laughs> <laughs> I'm bilingual. I speak English and nerd. Oh. Oh. <laughs> you speak internet. <laughs> well, that's what my mom always do. I'm talking to somebody like one of my brothers. She's like, I have no. It's like you guys are saying talking a different language. I'm like, <laughs> it's not a phase, mom. It's like Pokemon. I was like, mom, like. I want Pokemon wallpaper. She's like, no, hon, you're going to grow out of it in like a year. And this is when I was like nine. Look at me now. I still want Pokemon <laughs> wallpaper. I still have it. <laughs> and now that I think about it, I've been living in Japan for like a long time. Are you in Japan now? No. <laughs> <laughs> Are you, you, my... I thought you said like, I've been living in Japan for so long. I was like. So did you attend like, any like, schooling it, it was in, in Japan? a Navy base. Everyone knows English. Oh. Yeah. Uh... And so then I did, went to like, uh, what was it? Uh, a base high school? Or not high school, a school? On elementary? The, on the base? Yeah. Uh, did you ever game like with your parents at all? Like, how did they feel about video oh, games? Oh, dude, we used to play Tekken 3 all the time. I, <laughs> I was really bad at fighting was, games and still am. So that's why. I yeah, my mom that. used to be in uh, an Eddie main, I, I believe. <laughs> that's cool. Yeah, and now they stopped because uh, life. Yeah, Sudoku. Yeah, it's more, it's more their speed. Sudoku. Crossword puzzles, <laughs> dominoes. Yeah, my dad's yeah. video game history is like the retro Atari. He's like, when I played video games, it was just one stick and it was a ball and a paddle. You never <laughs> gamed with your dad ever, like no. And then never. <laughs> mm -mm. And then my mom, <laughs> the only thing she ever played was Galaga. Because uh, she would always play that at arcades. And I remember when we were little, um, it's probably where I got my love for spicy foods, but she loves spicy foods. So we always went to get like buffalo wings. 
um, mm. or like hot wings in these local places. And there's this place called Turn for Wings. I think it's been closed down for forever now. But where we used to live in Florida, this place called Turn for Wings. Mm, it hit it hit different, dude. But they always had a Galaga thing. So we would get there. My dad would sit with us. We'd order. And she would just go over as soon as we order and just play Galaga. And she'd put one <laughs> quarter in. And that's it. That's all she would need for the whole time we were there. She's like 12 again, I bet. And then the wings are back. And she's like, I, like I'm almost at a high score. She would go <laughs> get like the high score and then eat her wings. She was cracked. Yeah, that, my dad's game was like Dig Dug. That was... Uh... That was the one like he always played. My dad, my dad always tells me I got my gaming genes from him because he was a Galaga champion. <laughs> <laughs> you're playing Final Fantasy during your rotations. You're like, thanks, Dad. <laughs> he's like, you know, you, got, you know, you know who gave you the seed, right? And I was like, it was you, Dad. You're the Galaga champion. Thank you, Dad. Hey, that's not even as crazy as my rotations back in the day, dude. <laughs> when that blue one would come and suck up one of those other ones, bro. Like, that was it. I knew it was time to buckle down. I needed that extra life. Are you rotationing, son? Like, yes, dad. <laughs> <laughs> Are you winning, son? I'm in my burst window. Not right now, dad. Please. <laughs> dad, please not. Pause the game, dad. Are you, you winning, son? I'm fantasioning my character for the 15th time. Are you uh, winning, so son? What are you... No, dad. I'm a cat boy. I'm never going to win. <laughs> <laughs> What are you like primarily playing right now, Dork? Like in today's game in space, you still playing Destiny at all? Like, are you still a big Destiny stand? Uh, whenever people want to raid, sure. But yeah. right now, I'm just chilling on my PS5. Been I've been like current now ever since I got a job. It's been nice. Have you played um, Bug Snacks on the PS5? No, I haven't. That's like the like, one I, thing like I want to play. Like I should get on it, but I kind of want to stream it. But uh, I need to upgrade my capture card. What kind of capture card do you have? The Aver Media Portable. Oh, the closet. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Like, there's too many plugs as it is already behind my desk. And it's kind of tedious trying to work, figure out where. Do you uh, need an internal one or an external one? Uh, preferably an internal one. Okay. Do you have, like, one a customized day. rig? Uh, yeah, I actually built my PC. Yeah, I think, do you still have that 1070? Or I yep. think it was, yeah, okay. I'm a couple years behind now. No. 1070 but, uh, is like, okay still, I think. Yeah, I'm still like, running it. It's still running like a dream. It's just poor memory is all. Yeah. Need more RAM. Yeah. Everything still rocking that 16. Yeah, everything takes up so much. Yeah. Like Google Chrome's like, hey, what if we just used all your RAM? You're like, why? Right? <laughs> but, but why? I, I'm just, I just have a chat open. Like, please yeah, don't right. go nowhere. Just Google <laughs> the question, man. Using it. Um, uh, Dort, can I ask about uh, your VTuber? Like, do we have any updates or is anything? Um, it's right now. There's like a delay. Mm -hmm. uh, apparently, rigging the head is uh kind of difficult at the moment I so i would assume that would be pretty difficult who would have thought who would have thought yeah i would assume. <laughs> shut up well are they are they making it so that your expressions change at all because you like you have yes to... that, that would be so oh cool. that's right i never showed you guys the expressions yeah like i i've only seen what you have done with like the twitter thing which is basically it's just like that which is it looks sweet too but like i want to yeah, I'm going to post it in the uh, Twitter DMs if I can find it. Oh, well, there we go. We we know you guys don't. Wait, I I'll be right back. I'm going to see. I'll see if I find the sketchbook where the dorks. Thing. Oh, where the OC is. The OC. Yeah, the OC. Where you can I, prove in court when Dork makes it as ago, a big no VTuber idea. that, like, <laughs> that's my OC. <laughs> <laughs> is OC yeah, still stand for original content or is it something different? It's uh, original character for uh, art. I didn't know original content was a thing. Yeah, well, that's because like um, I, when I uploaded to Funny Junk and that kind of site, uh, those sites, it mm -hmm. was like OC oh, or OC, repost. Yeah. yeah, so like oh. OC was like, I made this meme up by myself, which I never did. I was always a repost. Guy. There you go. There's a few expressions. Oh, whoa. That's and the, see, like that is exactly what I like imagined too. Is like that's and really the, cool. Yeah, the bottom right is basically me going insta kill. Oh, 
Yeah, it came, it came I, up with an idea for like Spider-Man stuff. Like people end up like irritating, and I get really angry in game, and I, I like, st- and I begin being quiet. That's the expression I'm gonna use. I love the style. It's like the head is like it almost like superhuman. Like it just looks like a human, and then like the head is like it's super retro and dope. I dig it. Yeah, I like to thank the anime Fully Cooly for that. There you go. Uh, got yeah, me hooked up. Canty. God, it got me hooked up. So, so how does it work? So, is there a camera that catches you? Like, do you have to buy a camera and then buy like equipment for that? Like, I, I'm as, curious. As far as I know, you just need a webcam. But if you want to have a little oomph, there is some sort of uh, what was it? Hardware, I believe. Mm-hmm. Unless it's only for 3D. But you need uh, that and the software. Uh, I think it was called V. What was it? It's called VTuber something. Have you ever thought about a VTuber Blue? Instead of your uh, face cam? Yeah, I don't know. (laughs) Uh, Dorks is just so, like, perfect as a VTuber. It is. Whereas, like, a penguin would be kind of hard. I mean, a penguin with glasses, maybe not that hard, but it, it, I imagine it would be harder to rig than... It, it would definitely be a little bit more intimidating to rig uh, than uh, the idea of dorks. But, yeah, I'm super excited. Do you have, like, any kind of idea in a terms of a date or when we can expect to see that? Uh, At the moment, I have no idea. Okay. I want to say, like, Possibly, maybe next month or late next month, but uh, I haven't reached to the person after uh, he or she told me because I don't want to bug him. Yeah, I don't want to rush him. Yeah, I I have that sort of thing too, where it's like if I ever commission someone for a piece of art, I never want to be the hey, um, don't make don't want to ping again, um, but where's the uh, I you never want to be that person. Yeah, <laughs> it's uh, it, it'll be in the subscriber chat. I couldn't find oh, the paper. Oh, you found it? Found in our DMs, but I can't find the sketch of it. Oh, okay. I where I put it. There it is. Wow. The OG. OC. <laughs> where it all started. Perka, ja- Perka jacket and all. Mm-hmm. That's dope. I had no idea. That's some pretty cool lore. That's like VTube Studio. Game. That's what the software is called. Okay. So you just need like a webcam and it picks it up and like, would you have to like have like a stream deck to change the kind of reactions or something? I assume so. Yes. VTube, do you, is it on itch.io? Mr. Fruit VTuber? Um, I, it's just on Twitter. <laughs> you can uh, download it. I see it everywhere. A lot differently. I love the one where it's just the dude who's a bunch of McRibs and a bunch of eyes. And oh, shit. <laughs> hey, guys. <laughs> Thanks for coming to my stream. <laughs> He's just a, a fucking McRib. Have they been blown up? Or at least, I don't know. Do okay, Dork, do you know this whole hollow life thing? Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. Wait, no. <laughs> Wait, you don't know hollow life? What's that? That's this, you, this VTuber has just blown up. Well, Hollow oh Life? yeah, uh, Gura... is it like Hamusumi Niku? Like, the... well, no, it's like All Live. I think isn't. I think it might have started as one person, but now it is a group, and there's like waves of new people that join or whatever. Yes, it's uh, generations. Yeah, I like forgot the first generation, the second generation, Around, like, and the it has like uh, some sort of uh, what was it like a uh, like a type. Like uh, that, I think um, I think Arcadum does a D and D playthrough with uh, with a couple of these um, VTubers. Well, because huh. I know the biggest one, and this was from whatever they dubbed like the third or fourth generation, is which is my favorite generation. <laughs> yeah, of course, is that Gura Gura, whatever that shark girl. Oh yeah, Gagura, yeah, yeah. Who like released or like joined and started her channel like september and is now over two million yeah she's only been like streaming for like a few months especially the other girls as well yeah she's been popping off i feel like it i i feel there was a uh there was like a kind of a vtuber community but i feel like just kind of recently within the past like i think four to five months i've you've seen it just kind of 
explode or taken off or maybe i'm just really slow with the times and it's always been kind of around from uh for me i was just like uh, randomly watching clips and i fell into the rabbit hole of w- watching even more clips i'm like yeah i'll uh subscribe to these uh vtubers even though i don't understand what they're saying but uh yeah oh, are they speaking like japanese most yeah, japanese, japanese oh. indonesian there's like a ta- a lot of uh Language based VTubers. Is there sub? Uh, no, I don't think no so. No sub, just uh, clippers who just translate. Yeah. Most and of them I, when I found out that Hall Y was doing uh, English, I was like, whole. Oh. Yeah, because that's a whole other thing. It's literally called Hall Alive EN for English. Yeah. It doesn't house under the same thing. But I read here uh, Hall Alive was another VTuber agency with a group of talents working for it. However, Hall Alive technically started back in 2017 with a single VTuber named Tokino Sora. Um, but it wasn't really organized into a unit of girls until 2018. And Gen yeah, so the whole idea is it's essentially like a multi channel network almost. So does yeah. Gen 1 stay this. around and stream? Or does once Gen 2 come around, like out the door, Gen 1? Like, oh, they no, constantly it... stream. Okay, yeah, they're all still I chugging. I didn't know if it was like, get them out. They're Gen 1. As far as I know, they're just like idols. Yeah, almost. I'm jealous mostly because all how much fan art they get. That's so cool. I love fan art. Yeah, I live for fan art. And it helps. I rather get paid. I rather get paid in fan art than money. There you <laughs> That's go. That's my thing. Oh, we know you pay for a lot of fan art yourself. <laughs> <laughs> do, do, Half do of you beers. Have... Okay, wait. Here's a here's the NSFW question for the episode sixty nine. Do you have your OC doing anything NSFW? <laughs> Not the moment. No. <laughs> the only thing I have are my other OC girls that have been like uh, commissioning. Okay. But I don't lose them too much. Not, I only like a little, nice. like you know, you're like a nip slip or anything. Yeah, literally, little, you're little... literally lying right now. You literally have. You commissioned blue you with commissioned, the receipts. You commissioned some oh, some some NSFW shit for your for your night specifically. She would, she, they were just getting a boob grab. That's about it. <laughs> a boob grab. That is Wait, your knight in like Final Fantasy or something? No, he no, no, a, no, no. His knight OZ. Oh, it's just a real character. Of armor. Hey, you leave Abigail alone. You leave her out of this. <laughs> You're, see, Dork, you're OC. Just a little bit of, like, ab kind of V kind of thing. Like, a little bit of... That's always She still has of... her clothes on, but I won't even call it clothes. It's just basically like a cloth. Okay. How many OCs do you have? I believe six. Wow. Six or seven, because one of them is still in the works. You might as well have your own Hall Alive. Get <laughs> other people who do all the various all the ones. characters. <laughs> one of the OCs. <laughs> Yeah, it would be weird, though, having a grown man voicing over female drawings. You have your voice changer thing. I've seen you do It's not things. the same, though. I mean, I would love to hear your voice and then, like, a little nice anime <laughs> OC just talking. <laughs> like, oh, yeah, that, makes, that <laughs> match. absolutely I mean, matches. I think it would be easier and more fun to do it if you did have, like, a VTube thing. Because it's just not the same. Kawaii. Yeah, where like your face cam's on, but it's completely different. And at that point, it feels more like. At that point, it's very clear, like the separation and identity or whatever, you know? Um, mm. And I know some people uh, enjoy that a lot more. But you're stuck with this ugly mug, so. Yeah. And, this, <laughs> and this billboard, baby. Receding hairline, yeah, let's get a, it. You can have a V2 yes. version of yourself. That's what a lot of people do that. You yeah, but then I would post that, fruit. and I can already imagine comments like "WTF is this?" Like, I don't need this on this. I'm unsubbing. You, what well, are you I appealing mean, even to? Then, even then, you could your your Minecraft uh, skin would make a good VTuber. That would be, or Nintendo head. That would be mine. Nintendo sixty four <laughs> head. That's my VTuber. <laughs> it's a man who has a Nintendo sixty four. Okay, if that's your N sixty four controller, show me how you how you would when you're playing how you would hold it. How I feel like, yeah, how would you hold the controller? Yo, Vegeta, what are like you doing that. over there? <laughs> because I was as at the young age, I gripped okay, the yeah. middle with my left and I used two fingers for the joystick. I remember oh, everyone thought claw. that was weird. You went like 
No, no, no. Ah. My right was still on the right, but then my left hand gripped the middle, and I had like two it's fingers hard, on like, the stick. I can't stick. grip the sides. Yeah, it's bad. But it's I remember bad. people made fun of me. I need to get a haircut. <laughs> I recently shaved mine off. Oh, did you, Dork? What's the longest yeah. you ever had your hair go? The longest would it be enough to make me look like a coconut head when I was in oh, uh, middle school. Coconut it was head. really awkward. I just got my hair cut, finally. <laughs> yeah, that's good. A couple pounds yeah. lighter. Yeah, I saw your uh, wristwatch. I saw you got in a good workout today. Yeah, got Oh, it's like a sucked. thing. Like, if you shave your head, you're kind of like off balance. Because uh, that's what I've been feeling for the past few days. I just... If I shave my head, it would never grow back. <laughs> that's a fact. That's a fact. Damn. I don't know how that works. This it is. Like, this you would still... never... The fact no, that your hair would... still grows that long. You have it, hair, it would grow. It would never come... It would never come back the same. Like, like this hair that's, like, here somehow, this would never come... Like, it would never be the same. <laughs> I would, would never look... come... Yep. It would never come... <laughs> <laughs> what was that um the Keanu Reeves uh joke for uh Night City trailer or whatever? <laughs> I forget what he was gonna say, like and then come <laughs> <laughs> That's like the meme you have, right? Where oh, it's, it's like, like why do you come? <laughs> 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 uh, that was a good one. Uh, I like yeah. memes. They make me happy. Oh, uh, yeah. hey, slightly relevant because we had him on the podcast before and I was looking through uh, live stream fails. One of the top clips is actually from John Silva. We, uh, Shut up. Is it really? <laughs> yeah, we had him on. He was that artist. Um, yeah, he's awesome. But he was essentially talking about how terrible CD Projekt Red was for the hiring because he oh, did really? this. He They like showed the art that he did for CD Projekt Red, which was just a test start too, because they wanted something that wasn't just his portfolio. I mean, you won't really be able to see it on the camera, but like, it's incredible. Okay. Yeah. And they're like, yeah, it's all right. And so he asked for, I think twenty five hundred a month for salary because he was going to become an in house artist. Mm-hmm. And um, that we can't do that. So he lowballed and said fifteen hundred. And they came back and said, well, the whole clip is them saying, like, the person at CD Projekt Red came back and said, like, uh, to be honest, you're not worth that much. Um, and no one in the game industry will ever pay you that much. Like, you're never going to find a job. Um, and all this different kind of stuff. And just how that was, like, a professional I know, I response. I watch that clip. Yeah. Oh, I, but it, then he was talking about, it, at the same time, he was... Uh, um, Looking for that job, he was talking about like at the time I was getting like forty five hundred dollars a picture from places. Yeah, <laughs> he's like people were paying. It's like they were just completely out of touch and didn't want to pay their artist. Yeah, no. but yeah, I just John saw that. Absolutely worth that. He's he's working on my next D and D art after uh, he's doing sodas here. I think right now. Ooh, oh. mm-hmm. for uh, season two, Claw coming your way. Nice at an Arcadum playthrough near you. Uh, so yeah, I'm sorry to derail, but no, that was pretty good. Um, I mean, I'm trying to think if there's any other lore questions I have before we just kind of already hop into the Patreon questions. I don't feel like there's anything kind of newsworthy to talk about other than getting to through Dork's lore. And I wanted to ask my OC question, and I really I was dying to know if he's ever had any NSFW <laughs> art of his, uh, of his TV head guy. Not yet. Does, does the OC have a name, Dork? The the head one? Oh, uh or is that just Dork Shadow? Or like, like it's just Dork Shadow, but honestly, I kinda like him just uh just initials, just D. Okay. That's cool. I like that too. Big D. Get it. No, just D, D. A. Just get nice it. D. Cool. I love D. All right. Yeah, because we already got a character named V, so might as well. That's true. All right. Well, I mean, due to episode sixty nine, I think it's fair to say we should all share our favorite time. We all <laughs> we'll go on to wow. We'll, um, this is going to be kind of like a quicker podcast. I think Blue has a a little hard of a cutoff here, and then I think Mister Fear has something in his hand he wants to show off here. He's spinning. What do you want? Oh, to show I've off just there, been. Mr. Oh, 
I was holding it this whole time because I fidget with I just dropped okay. it. That's bad. I fidget. Yeah, well, I fidget too. I was fidgeting with this uh wire today. This was Rob's fidget thing today. Well, I opened this up <laughs> from the fan mail. Somebody sent me the vinyl of the Ghost of oh, Tsushima soundtrack. Oh, damn. Ooh. Yeah. I was gonna say it looks like a corn album. Too. Yeah, <laughs> it looks sick. So now I have to get a record player. Because <laughs> otherwise I can't listen to it. I want to listen to it. Okay. Yeah. So um, we'll move on to Patreon questions here. Be Did Oko have a up. question? Is Oko equi- making a question? Oh. Where's Oko's question? That's somewhere. Oh, yeah, it's here. I see it. I see it. <gasps> Oko asked a question. Oh, Let's go. But Mr. Walsh asked a question first, and he's like the fucking math teacher. He said okay, this one's actually cool easier. Wait, no. And we can talk about this one. We can really work through this. Oh, I bet. A ball is connected to a rope and swung in uniform circular motion. Uh, the tension in the rope is measured at 10 N. What does that even mean? Um, well, and the radius the of the circle is 1 M. How much work is done in the revolution around the circle? 12. Okay, Blue's answer 10, is 12. And then 1 M. I wouldn't. Ten, oh, well, no, it's 1, uh, 1 M. Oh, M. M as in motion. I'm gonna be honest. I just wanted to have the brain power, or, or the motivation, and, and or the care. Like you're losing. There's. I'm sure there's some equation for it because you mentioned it. There's tension. Uh, there's circular motion. It's a whole revolution, or whatever. So now I'm sure there's some equation for it. I don't know. It. Uh, I'll says say this one is easier. Yeah. And I don't even know where to start. I'll say you know. Uh, in twenty. Of some Goodbye, measurement, you, I'm just gonna go with yes. It moves. All right, no, I, 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 that's that's a safe one. Good. That's a safe and one. I'm gonna good. go with the British shot first in Yorktown, and that's the revolution around the circle that heard. There's the shot heard around the world. Uh, Derps asks um, if any of you got an invite to the Hermitcraft server, would you take it? Why or why not? Hermitcraft. Um, it's like it. It's like a super like like big build big, server. Yeah. Like super involved. Um Jesus. Build scare me. Build server scare me. So uh, yeah. yeah, I would I would think I would like to, but I would be so intimidated. It's so much pressure because like when you're working on your thing, like if it's shit, then everyone's gonna be like, Who yeah. made that stupid? Yeah, thing? and then like <laughs> if it isn't OC and like I'm copying this off Pinterest, which I do 10 times out of 10 when it comes to Minecraft builds. Bro. Yeah, I like Pinterest and I'll freestyle it a little bit and I'll be like, this looks like shit. So then I'll go back to whatever the original was. Oh, that's sick. I'm just going to make a big box. Dude, yes. Yeah, you No, dork, you're a great Minecraft builder. Like, you, you got style. Not. You're the best, dude. Yeah, you were <laughs> dope because remember that time we almost blew up Rob's server? Or we almost uh, blew up the Fruit Nation server. See, so Dork's creative because he wants to like cage all the most dangerous things. We tried to cage an Ender Dragon one time. <laughs> Blue, and we like, had to. Blue never texts me. Like that's yeah, how I, I had to text Rob. <laughs> like, like Blue went out of his way to text me on my phone and was like, "You need to get on the server now." <laughs> and then I think I just like reverted it back or something. I forgot whatever. It was. However, we fix that problem. I thought it would like it would be you like. You thought it would what? Just be like, oh, I'm here now. Like I thought it would be dra- passive. <laughs> <laughs> it was standing still for a second until uh, it caught somebody roaming around. <laughs> oh yeah, it killed someone. <laughs> like, like, somebody just chilling on the, the server. Like occasion and glass and like obs- uh, was obsidian. I'm thinking like, oh okay, this would be nice. And then someone logged in and it just oh. no, no clip through the glass. I'm like, no! Oh, <laughs> we almost blew the server breaker. that day. It was worth Would it. you join a Hermitcraft server, Dork? Uh, if uh, opportunity, yeah, I guess. Okay. And then I think we all kind of had the same answer. Just kind of would be too daunting and we'd be too scared to actually do it. Pardon your regularly scheduled podcast listening for this short ad break. For the year we've all been through, saving money should be at the top of everybody's resolution list. So if you're still paying an insane amount of money every month for wireless, what are you doing? 
Switching to Mint Mobile is the easiest way to save money this year. As the first company to sell premium wireless service online only, Mint Mobile lets you maximize your savings with plans starting at just $15 a month. Mint Mobile showed me that I'm saving $55 a month just by switching to their plan. Mint Mobile, you're the man. For the people looking to save at extra savings this year, Mint Mobile offers premium wireless for just 15 bucks a month. By going online only and eliminating the traditional costs of retail, Mint Mobile passes those significant savings onto you. All plans come with unlimited talk, text, and high-speed data delivered on the nation's largest 5G network. Use your own phone with any Mint Mobile plan and keep your same phone number along with all your existing contacts. To get your new wireless plan for just 15 bucks a month and get your plan shipped to your door for free, go to mintmobile.com slash gg. That's mintmobile.com slash gg. Cut your wireless bill to just 15 bucks a month at mintmobile.com slash gg. Um, not Blue Boo Wheat Loaf asks, let you... <clears throat> Let's say you have a friend that hasn't seen Star Wars. They ask for guidance. Which trilogy would you ha- tell them to watch, the originals or the prequels? I mean, well, you go the originals. You just the go originals. 4, 5, 6, and then you go 1, 2, 3, and then you go 7, 8, 9. See, I'm in the boat where I would say, one, start with prequels. Because I would yeah. just want to see someone's genuine reaction who doesn't know. Oh, yeah. Because, like... No, no, no. They're not the better movies, but it would be cool to like walk watch along with somebody and then realize when he's like, I'm your father. And it's like wait, what? No, no, that's why you should watch the originals first. Because the the because the 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 allure of Darth it's not a it's not a it's not a twist if you already watch the the prequels. Yeah, one did because like he Cause then, like they they <laughs> refer to Anakin in like the fifth movie is like Darth Vader's name, so you would be like, yeah, wait, Anakin is Darth Vader, and like, well, then you just but, but... skip that whole part or something. <laughs> no, I mean, that's I... what that's what that's I, mean, I, I don't know. The, I, I don't personally know the think you should watch the the originals first because well, most you get the people... Darth Vader twist. I think a lot of people watch the prequels first and they don't realize Anakin is Darth Vader. They just don't so I on. guess that's a pretty good twist, but like I f- <sighs> the Darth Vader twist is so good though. But I I know a lot of people will say a good way to do it too is to go 4 5 1 2 3 or you can pretty much just skip like the first half of 1. Must yeah. There's a lot you can skip in the first trilogy, but yeah. like 4 yeah. or 5, yeah. then you can yeah. go back yeah. and get like you just figured out the twist, now you get to figure out the whole backstory. Then six, yeah, and then seven, and nine. then and then six never got sequels, or yeah, or and seven never just, got sequels. So yeah, yeah. I'm still waiting. Seven is still in my heart. Still yeah, yeah. I, I can't believe like Force seven. Awakens never got a sequel. That's crazy. I, I hate. I get it that seven played it safe, but whatever. I don't care that it played it safe. And was Finn was trophy. supposed to be a Jedi. That's all I have to say. That's true. Please. Yeah, they. I still. I'm still never. Gonna I will get die over. on this hill. I'm still never going to get over that Finn should have been the main character and Rian Johnson murdered that character. I, I just think there there was a bigger... Th- I don't know if he was a Jedi or anything like that, but there was a bigger thing for Rhett or uh, for Finn other than to come out of his little Rhett! thing and have like water spurting out of him and like his Yeah, whole... turn into a stupid comedy character. <laughs> hey, by the way, the Stormtrooper who was a child soldier um, needs to be told that war is bad. Ha ha. Such good writing. <laughs> well, but we subverted your I still wanted so many. Could have been so many cool things. One to happen to Ray. I was still hoping for a big twist where like uh, Kylo ends up being a good guy and Ray's actually the bad guy, and um, they played all the stuff down. Or like, there's another, but there's all just. <laughs> but that's n- yeah. neither here nor there. Um, have you guys seen WandaVision yet? The first two episodes, dude. Holy oh yes. shit. Dude. I am in love with that show. I did not think it was gonna. It's so weird, but it's actually really funny. But oh my god, dude! It's like some t- pseudo Twin Peaks shit, and I, I, I think it's starting to pick up. Like I, after yeah. the second episode, I was like, okay, I'm sick of this fifty shit. Like, let's move on from it. Like, I think now it's gonna start yeah. getting in. Like what you said, Twin Peaks kind of like super. Like, what the hell is happening? The first episode had me hooked. It was the because I because when it started, I was like, "Man, this is weird." I mean, I'm enjoying it, but this is weird. Mm-hmm. And it, the dinner scene was like, "Oh yeah, that dinner scene, est here," and I was hooked. Well, well, what just surprised me was I liked them. 
but Rotten Tomatoes has them at like 98%. They're like one of the highest rated, rated TV episodes like ever. I, I, I think and maybe I was like, it, it was just good, so, but it does a great job at like mimicking like the Dick Van Dyke show and like Bewitched. And I think it, I don't, I thought I it was genuinely, that great. Yeah, I, I have to wait for more. I think it's I want to see such where it a goes. unique show. And I think even if, even without the twist, I thought the show was pretty funny. Like I, it, It's the first show in a long time. I can't remember when. It's like the first show that I've watched. And I'm like, I have no idea what the, like, if I'm watching. is it almost I, feels I like Twilight it, Zone stuff. Yeah, I'm like, I don't know if I like this, what I'm watching yet. But like, I feel like I need to see what the ending is like to know if I like this. Well, I feel like it's one of those things where it's, it'll be rated depending on where it goes. Like even if these yeah. first episodes are solid, if it plays out and it doesn't go anywhere, it, or it like stumbles, which I don't think it will, but that could obviously impact it. I don't but, think it'll have Mandalorian numbers or anything like that. Or Mandalorian think it actually, I think it's doing it better. It actually has more. Yeah. What? The, uh, what? The, for, I think Damn. someone, someone posted about Marvel, it, dude. about like um internet interest, like in the like Kids, searches. Just, and WandaVision it has had more search traffic than Mandalorian did. You're telling or, me, man, you, like Marvel is more popular than Star Wars. Doesn't oh, surprise me. At this me. point, absolutely not even close. The thing about it, because of how they, well, one, there was such a huge gap of Star Wars for the longest time. Then it finally came back to mixed reactions. All that while, kids were growing up now with the Marvel movies being their things. Or like teenagers yeah. growing up, and that was their Star Wars essentially, like big hero action movies every year. Yeah, um, Marvel has like billion dollar box office numbers like every year, so it's like yeah. when the WandaVision's over. What's the next one that's coming out? Loki, there's like twenty right? of them. I don't even know so, anymore. There's a lot. There's a lot. There's, <laughs> there's Loki. Like, there really is. I, was it? Was it? Was it Loki or? I thought it was gonna be like Captain America. Yeah, was it? I don't. I don't know if it was Loki or if it was or like Captain Falcon. Yeah, the Falcon, uh, Falcon, and Winter Soldier. Show me moves. One of those. Anyways, um, Disney I mean, I is just... going for world supremacy. Yeah. <laughs> well, so while we were watching it, though, I guess we can still speculate because it's only been two episodes, and we literally have like no idea. One of my speculations is that, um, and I guess mild spoilers for the first two episodes, but it's so weird anyway. Um, it's been out for a week. Come on. Yeah, um, you can just skip this part. I think Wanda is doing this to herself. She, because after all the Endgame stuff and Vision died, and he's gone now, I feel like she's done something to her psyche or, or like locked herself away in her mind or in some alternate reality where Vision is still alive. Cause I thought that mainly for the first thing is like they don't have many memories and Vision doesn't have any memories, but then that beekeeper dude comes out or whatever. But she's like, no, stay away. Like, I don't want you here, whatever. And then she rewinds time back to when it was all happy, whatever, with Vision. Oh, yeah. I forgot about the beekeeper thing. That was so awesome. So that's just what I think. And then there's somebody out there trying to help get her out, though. Or, like, maybe it wasn't she didn't mean to do this, but now she's trapped herself in this alternate reality or dimension or whatever. Mm. That's my guess. But I have no idea. I have I have no idea. Well, the weird part though is somebody was like watching it though in like color, like. That's what I'm saying. It could have been, it could have been like um, an alternate reality, or she could have time traveled or whatever. Skull, which is powers, confuse me. She does everything. So like maybe (laughs) somebody's now watching that because now that's canon or whatever. Like that's he changed like the timeline at that time. I don't know. Or maybe they're like somehow. Like uh, reading her brainwave. I have no idea. It could be somebody controlling her. It could be a lot of stuff. I just like to think it's the tragic lover situation where they're so upset and lost that they would rather be in this space where they can still have their loved ones and fake themselves into thinking it's... Essentially be in prison. Yeah, and fake themselves into thinking this is what it is now and having them back. That's my guess, though. I wouldn't be surprised if she's like being brainwashed. Yeah, but it'd be back like, by... by- I try to think like of like by what villain though. Like that's the I can't think of a Marvel villain that is like a that would like do that that I can think of. Mm. But I could be wrong. Um we'll move on to the next question unless anybody has anything to say. 
Um, we'll go Coco? to uh, ki- uh, nope, not yet. Aww. Two more questions. <laughs> uh, Kiffer asks, anime talk. Do you think you'll ever try One Piece ever? You no. don't need to commit to all of it right <laughs> no. now. Hey, hold on. Hey, hey, I'm dead. No. Um, all I ask is you try the first 44 episodes. No. Give That's me all- like a list of all the episodes that has like no fillers, like absolutely no fillers. Well, Here's go to anime, the show is a filler. Go to animefillerlist.com. Put in your show. It'll tell you exactly. Like, I'll look it up right. I'll literally start telling you. One of the highest searched actually is anime filler list one piece. Uh, <laughs> but to be fair, above it are Naruto and Bleach. Um, True. How many episodes so, does Bleach have? Filler episodes. 54 through 61. So the whole first arc is canon. 98 through 99. 101 to 102. 131 to 143. 196 to 206. 220 to 226. 279 to 283. Honestly, it doesn't look like that big of an offender. I guess I'm just used to Naruto, who was terrible at it as well. <laughs> and yeah, I'm looking at it like... They have it a lot of... pretty canon. Yeah, they have some mixed canon filler episodes, which Naruto, of course, did. But for the most mm. part doesn't look as bad it's just that that just means let's say there's only 100 episode filler episodes that's just 900 episodes i gotta watch jesus that's just a commit but that's like that's the next lot. year and a half two years all i'm doing Dude. whenever i have chances to watch well one i'm piece. just glad i'm a skimmer <laughs> I'm um, that show's probably tired if you skim i could i just couldn't do it i legit watched 100 episodes and i was like i'm not doing it I mean, People I'm like, gonna no, give it a chance. Just wait till 150, bro. Just wait till 150. No, not no, it. I'm skimming. I'm skimming. No, I'm <laughs> I, might, I already know what's. I already know what's gonna happen. I might give yep, it a there chance. There it goes. I'm skimming at one point, but like, it's like when I was like, I was watching Attack on Titan this weekend, and it's like episode 60. Mm. I think they're at 69, actually, ironically. Um, <laughs> but they're like episode 69. I was like, man. And I'm thinking back to like Naruto ship, and it's like, man, by episode 69, <laughs> like nothing's happened. And that's just why, like, we talked about it, like, weekly animes versus seasonal. But, like, seasonal just have it so beat because they have fit so much into these 69 episodes. Where, like, every episode is just so much going on. Sub Story moves. Yeah, it's just... Mm. And then I, I, I go back to Naruto and it's just like, this arc's taking 200 episodes. doesn't need to take 200 episodes. And so... But at this point, too, I'm just kind of used to it. So once I get done, I'm like only 12 episodes into Baruto or whatever. Um, which I thought there was only 80. Apparently, there's 180. That's a big difference. Um, so I guess I'll slowly get through that. But then after that, I might eventually finally try and figure out the stupid Fate Zero thing. Oh, yeah. That, like, <laughs> dude. But at the same time, literally, it's still no me. People are like, no, it's simple. You guys literally just prove our point. Each list is different. <laughs> And everybody's like, just start here and go. Literally, here. people no. would <laughs> do this. People were adding me. They were like, don't make it complicated. Just do these. It's the I'm next like, person who added me. Literally, a totally different suggestion. Yeah, dude. Oh my god, I love fate, but holy shit! Like, why? What would you recommend, Dork? How do you start fate? How did you start? Honestly, fate? I started at fate stay night. Okay, me too. Because <laughs> the art in that anime is holy shit. Like beautiful. Well, see, I was going to start there, but then everyone says, like, no, that's like the fifth one. You have to go back and watch. All I know is that Face Day and I started out as a hentai visual novel. That's all I know. I do know that. I do know that. So good. It's not sex, it's mana transferring. Oh. That's what the kids are calling it these days. Like, oh, I was like, what does that mean? But then it's just them having sex, I guess. But it is them mana. <laughs> They're From what I saw, mana? if it's like, yeah. Okay. Oh, give me your mana. <laughs> <laughs> Sasuke! You Sasuke! Uh, Sasuke! Me. Slots5 asks, uh, for Blue, do penguins have knees? Have Shit. always been curious since my club penguin days. <laughs> do penguins have knees? I don't think... I think that's why they waddle, right? Because they don't. I think they do, right? I think it's like, they look like kind of like this. And... I, um... Actually, no. I'm I'm pretty sure they do have knees because otherwise their swimming wouldn't be quite as agile. So I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I'm pretty sure they do have knees. In short, yes, penguins do have knees. Well, that was pretty oh. anticlimactic. A penguin's legs are built up <laughs> of a femur, knee, tibia, and fibula. 
All right. Well, Blue, this one is for you. Uh, Oko. Oko! Oh, I love you, Oko! How's I your E12 prog going? I saw you well, I saw you typed oh in God. I saw you typed in, in GG Easy and I was like, how's Oko's static going? You're 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 the first DI, DRK I think of. I love you, Oko. It goes, what character from any series slash movie slash game in series uh inspires you the most and why? And then it says, by the way, Blue, I'm on E12 after clearing the other yes. three blind. Hope your prog is going well. Thank you, Oko. Oh, I'm, I miss Oko. What was I the would, question? Uh, <laughs> like what? What like um, character from any series, movie, game inspires you the most? I would probably say uh, Wait, Deku. Uh, Deku. Oh, yep. Yeah. Yeah. Deku. Yep. He's on my body, you're... man. Ooh. Oh, that's an E2. That's <sighs> yeah, bro. Come on. Wait, come on. What bro. was the question again? I'm having a hard time to process it. What character from any like media like in French Deku in, in inspires you the most? Yeah, yeah, oh, like uh, Spider Man. Okay, yeah, that's a good fucking goddamn. We miss you, Uncle Ben. <sighs> I don't, Which is funny too, because the uh, I, I don't know the I dude going, who uh, made my hero is actually inspired Deku to be kind of like Peter. Oh, oh really? Oh really? Yeah. We're not yeah. so different, you and I, Dork. <laughs> I I don't know. I guess maybe earlier on Oku. Cause that was really like the the anime and stuff I watched. Because as far as like movies I mean it says like game movies kind of really Yeah, but movies are good, but I feel like you don't get the same attachment to a character as you would in like a TV show of ten seasons or something, you know? Yeah. Mm. Or like a video game, but then again, I was just playing Halo Three. You know, I didn't really resonate with Master Chief. Uh, he's just another faceless <laughs> badass. Yeah, fucker. just another faceless shooter, dude. Dad. <laughs> um. John. Yeah, I, I, I don't know. I really don't. Why you blue? Um. <sighs> That's a hard ass question. I think growing up, growing up, it was definitely Goku. That dude was just that dude was just god tier, and I was like, "Damn, Goku's sick." He always just wants to get better. He always yeah. wants to get better, but and protect his. I guess what now point? it's I guess now it's Vegeta because. Yeah, Goku's I think powerful. Vegeta is just proof that people can change. And his character development in Super especially is just like, is me like, damn, like, if Vegeta become a good dad, maybe I can become a self-functioning human be being <laughs> in society, you know? Yeah. Um, Sharkboy97 asks... Can also, Oak, your... I cleared the tier, by the way. Oh. Uh, uh, two weeks ago, I finished E12 Part Two. It was dope, and I hope you. I, I wish you good luck in E12. Okay, keep going. Uh, Chuck Boy ninety seven asks, "Can we get your tier list of fast food French fries? I'll just give you what S is, oh. and every other thing is just below that. McDonald's. When when McDonald's fries are hot, like we're talking, like all these fries are at the best of their best, right? Like you you're getting it at their best. McDonald's and nothing beats it. Oh, I'm sorry, Chick Fil A. I know it's a it's a very basic answer. Going Chick Fil A. It's a good fry. I'd Chick -fil -A put like is a good one. Shit. I I'd put Chick Fil A in like A. I've not, just never not, actually not McDonald's fries. So they're all right, but they just never. Yeah. Even when they're hot, they're like okay. The I'd put them like fresh. A, but it's never like enough. I don't know. Um, um I would have to say. The '90s Burger King fries. '90s specifically. Yeah, because I I noticed something happened to them. Like, <laughs> something different. They just yeah, different. Yeah, it dude. tastes really weird. Because I was I was a huge Burger King guy or a kid back then, until one day the fries tasted weird, like something's up. Yeah. Uh, what was yours, Blue? I. So, as someone who worked at McDonald's, I still love their fries, but they're not my favorite. I would put them as like AA+. I gotta tell you, nothing hits better than Wendy's fries for me. Ooh. Oh. I've had, I had good Wendy fries Ooh. yesterday, and they were good. Those aren't bad. And when Wendy's salted, fries just hit. Yeah. When they're salted just enough, and you dip it in the sweet and sour, 
Ooh. They do. But my, my only complaint with them, though, is I feel like it can be hit or miss. Like, with Chick-fil-A pretty consistently, I can count on the yeah. fries, but sometimes yeah. with Wendy's, they, hit, they, See, like they like they're a little too uncooked or like a little saw, too like hard. Like a little or, floppy. Little... Yeah, but oh, like, like when they right hit, now. like they're wet. I'll, I'll admit Wendy's hits, yeah. Uh, Wendy's mm-hmm. definitely hits the best for me. I For me personally, it's Chick-fil-A that is one of the most... Uh, hit or miss because sometimes you'll get I, I will often get very soggy fries from Chick-fil-A which is why they're not higher on my list if they, they would be they would be higher on my list if they weren't so soggy uh, I mean and on God bro I hate like the like the potato ones where you get just it looks like potato on those the are back. the best yeah. Yeah. That's those a are the best because then you get the most <laughs> sauce on it too and then it's just salty enough i love those uh, um so yeah wendy's is mine uh, the only the yeah. only crime wendy's has ever done to me is that sometimes the fries are a little too salty no you want to know Dude, what hey. the crime is why doesn't your vanilla sh- ever work every time i go there i'm like give me a vanilla <laughs> frosty sorry it's broken it's been a year and a half fix it get it fixed yeah wait wait i'll come in there wait uh, give me a screwdriver like, what do you need me to do jesus um, you know, okay, you know whose fries hit, but they they're low key, and you see them everywhere. But I bet you haven't had them. The nacho fries from Taco Bell are actually pretty decent. I've never you are tried a Taco them. Bell stand. Yeah, me either. But I might have. Yeah, here. they're not bad. Like it's I, it's definitely different to get uh just French fries. Don't dip it in the cheese, the cardboard cheese. That's gross. Just <laughs> just they're I do good like enough with the seasoning they put on them. They're good. Five Guys okay. Cajun fries. I like. They taste just like those. They a little less spicy. Um but yeah, they're good. And the other thing is good times. Good, good times, times is that good can hit really but the thing about good times though is I can't eat as much. Like they stop hitting after a certain but like if you get a small and then you get that good time sauce, whatever. Yeah, oh yeah. Breeze and throw them. But then anymore it's too much. Too much. And uh, I'm getting really hungry because I couldn't tell you the last time I had French fries. Yep. When the dream team was like first popping off, and I was living at like my like college apartment, good times is literally like down a block. I literally lived at good times. And <laughs> I would like to bring something up because I just remembered when I was a kid in Japan, the Japanese McDonald's end up like selling uh, a shaka shaka fries. If anyone knows that, Mm-mm. it's basically uh, you put fries in a bag, and it has oh, like yeah. a barbecue oh, yeah. flavor. Um, French fries. You shake the bag up until it's like it's all. Oh, yeah. Well. That reminds me. Pretty bog. Is it pog? Buffalo bog? Wild Wings fry basket, but you get the salt and vinegar dry seasoning on top of it and then extra to dip it in. Those hit different. That's us. That specific combination. <laughs> when they're fresh and hot, covered in the salt and vinegar. Oof, I'm telling you. Right in the gooch. Yeah, uh-huh. mm. um, Kyron asks for fruit. Uh, what do you think about the rotation cinematic for League of Legends and the champion design itself? You what did you say? You said ru- ruination. Ruination. It says, "What do you think about the ruination cinematic from League uh, of Legends?" He's talking the about the Ruin King, Diego, or whatever. Um, I thought it was sick. I mean, any league. I, I still just want a movie. I wish we're getting a. The animated series, but apparently it's being pushed back a bit. Um, You'd rather have a series though than a movie, though, right? Because I feel like with those, you yeah. Can... But like, I'm thinking though, like if they did a movie though, they could do the quality that they have in their cinematics, um, and it would just be incredible. But uh, everyone was complaining because the Ruined King, he just looks like your typical anime husbando. People are gonna be like, oh, he's a super old, gray beard looking dude. Husbando. <laughs> but. And everyone's like, that's so typical. But then again, some old gray beard dude would also be pretty typical. And let's be honest, they want to sell skins. And according to his lore and like looking for his lost wife or whatever, like part of his sword or something, I don't know all about it. My wife. But he's very edgy and it kind of makes sense. Uh, he's a new jungler. So that's really all I care oh. about. Oh. Um, and he's got some cool new little mechanics. All in all, I just eat up everything. Like, You're going to mate him. Yeah, that's why I told Kevin. <laughs> that's what I told Kevin. <laughs> to be fair, every uh, new champ comes out. I'm like, that's my new man. And then there's a second question that says, "Did you watch the new episodes of Vikings?" Uh no. I'm slowly making my way through, but I was so caught up. Well, 
I was watching Naruto Shippuden, and when I'm watching with Claire, we've been watching Ted Lasso. So oh, Ted Lasso is so awesome. Um, Sunny Tater asks, would you guys ever consider doing some Borderlands 3 DLCs? I recently rewatched your videos, and it would be fun to see, unless it's going to hurt the channel. It, I uh, probably wouldn't even make a video on it. Borderlands 3 is fun. Um, it's just you can't really make... I can't really make any content on it, or yeah. I'd it'd stream like, it for a day. Maybe, yeah, maybe like, like yeah, it's a stream. stream. Yeah, uh, like it'd be fun to stream for a couple of days, but it wouldn't. I like yeah. Borderlands when I'm playing it. Yeah, Borderlands Three was good, but again, I mean, I think we talked about some of its problems. Like you just hit the wall of you're just trying to become as broken as possible. Like well, that and no it just reason. it was such a long time, and they played it so safe. There's like no innovation. It's just not as replayable as the whole reason Borderlands 2 is just so good is because you could just replay the shit out of it mm -hmm. and just have a little bit of a different experience every time. And and with Borderlands 3, it's just kind of a chore to play all the way through again. I am thankful yeah. for the people at Gearbox, though. That trip to L.A. was really cool. And I that was fun. I'm very That was a lot of fun. That I, I hold that trip close to my heart. That was fun. So that that I thank Borderlands 3 for that reason. Um, oh, the blue, you're gonna like this one. Um, Saints Workshop is it Oko for, again? Nope, it's Saints <laughs> Workshop, but you're gonna like this guy. Uh, you convinced me to try to play Final Fantasy, and I'm now a level 53 paladin. Oh, I love oh. my angry dragon lady, so I wanted to ask what your favorite jobs and which grand company did you join? P.S. I will not put up with this one piece lander when you sell <laughs> when yourselves say almost half of Naruto is trash. Still love y'all though. Yeah, but see, I didn't have to sift through a thousand episodes. <laughs> Plus, well, here's the difference for me. It's also more easier to digest for me because I see it as two things. You have Naruto, which is like 250 episodes. And to be fair, I think Naruto had more bangers and less filler. Um, and then Shippuden definitely had its misses. I mean, I skipped all the filler. So really, I only had to watch like 370 episodes. Um and then it had its shortcomings, but I got past it because I was so invested into it. The problem is, I'd already watched Naruto when I was like a kid and stuff. So I was like, I want to watch how Shippuden rolls out. I never had that with One Piece. So if I do hit that same wall, kind of like Blue, I don't know if I'm going to have the same willpower to be like, let's push yeah. through it. Because mm. I hit a wall with Shippuden. What are you like at 50, at episode 50 or something? From episode 50 to like 100, it took me like as long as it did to watch all the rest. Just because I... I was like, whoa, felt like I was just, bleh. Uh Okay, so Blue, the question was, what are your favorite jobs and which grand company did you join? Uh, so I joined Maelstrom. Um, just okay. because it's in Lemsa and it's easy to get to. Yep. Uh, I would have joined the new Gridania one, but there's no Aether, Aetherite. So um, yeah, no question. I wasn't going to walk all the way over there. Of course not. Um, <laughs> A lot of time my favorite time. jobs, obviously, I'm a Gunbreaker main. I'll probably always be a gunbreaker main. Um, I really love Bard. I really love Black Mage. And my favorite melee is probably Ninja right now. The only job I haven't played in the game right now. I actually the only job that's not 80 right now is um is Monk. So that, bro. it's so fun. So I haven't I have I haven't mastered Monk yet, but I've every other job is 80, so I've been grinding Final Fantasy pretty hard. Yep. But yeah, um, Gunbreaker main and good luck on good luck on uh, Paladin. I hope you're uh, enjoying Final Fantasy. Paladin's a really really dope uh, first tank to play. But if you need to try Warrior as well, you'll love to be angry. Dude, Warrior's uh, tight. Edgy boy. Duo Tangy asks, um, "What is your top Ooh, midnight I snack?" I've never Dude, made bunches of votes. Really. I murder those. I murder those at all hours of the night. I don't know, man. Just what rice crispy honey bun oatmeal cookie a fanta a mountain dew it changes every night i don't eat past seven. um i never really have i've never really like snacked late oh, never really did nice. that i'm a snacker i still do be munching on them hawaiian barbecue chips those are good oh yeah um, Punk asks, if you could turn into any female anime character for a day, which one would you be and why? Uh, hmm. I would be Mikasa. It's a, it's a trap. Be badass. 
like that. You know what I'm saying? Like recently, you know what I'm saying? That's sick. Yeah. Uh female anime character. See, then I have to think through all the animes I've watched. Same. Uh, I'm, I'm having trouble thinking of something here. Uh, big news I'm breaking. Uh, Olympics 2021 canceled. Shocked. Shocked. <laughs> Shocked Pikachu or whatever. <laughs> Bro, I can't think of someone. Really? Yeah. Because I'm having that same paralysis issue. It feels like there's a right answer, so I'm trying to figure it out. Mikasa is the right answer. I mean, that wouldn't be bad. I choose someone, I guess, that could fly. No, oh, that'd be cool. Kind of want to be. Or looking towards uh, Saber from uh, Fate series, aka King Arthur. Not familiar with that uh, yet, but we'll eventually. She's basically the blonde haired chick with many faces. Mm. Like, are you? I see what you did there. Blue? <laughs> okay. He's gone. We lost, we lost him. Oh, is he gone? Yeah. I know he's, he's muted. Oh, okay, that's okay. He'd probably uh, have the same issue as me. Um, we'll move on to the next question then. Uh, Jason Ace asks if you could move the Dream Team to all one city, state in the U.S. Uh, to live next to each other, where would it be? Oh, that would be tight. But where? It'd mm. be here. You call it somewhere in Colorado. I'd, be nice. I think I'd like to think it. Or like somewhere in Tennessee. Keep his taxes, baby. Yeah. Because it, well, it's 49th. Like... 50th is Alaska. You know what I'm saying? Uh, like, come on now. I guess if... Hmm. Is, wait, did they say it in the States? Yeah. Uh, I was going to say, let's Japan, go to Japan. Japan, I think, would be... Ah, say, let's yeah. go to Japan. It's great. Yeah, Japan would be a dead given. Um, um, Angel... Oh, go ahead. Yeah. yeah I mean... Colorado. Yeah, I would yeah, like say. to... There's not much to That'd complain be. about here, so. Yeah. Be here for me. What about you, Dork? I don't see wherever you guys are at. Well, there you go. Let's go, Everybody's buddy. coming to Colorado. Um, Angel asks a question for everyone: If you were a gym leader, what type would you be, and would you, and what would be your ace? I would be a ghost type and have ang- angle slash. Also, love Age the slash. nuzlocke. Can't wait for the next. Um, um, I, I would be fire, and my, my would be, um, probably like a Blaziken or something. That would probably be my ace, or like Ty. No, Typhlosion would probably be my ace. Hey, yeah, Typhlosion would probably be my ace. I like Typhlosion. I would be dark. And my ace would be Toxic Hmm. I don't want to be poison. But I chose the other type. Or I'll be the first <laughs> dual type. I'll be poison dark. Oh. The first one of its kind. What about you, Dork? I would say probably a ghost type. With uh, Decidueye as my ace. Oh, that's cool. That's a good one. Um... I don't know if Blue's back, so we'll just move on. Um, uh, Machinima, or a, a Bob... I'm not going to try that. Uh, Dork, why is your timeline sus, and how do you make your voice deeper? Asking for a friend. My voice deeper? Puberty. <laughs> Puberty and lots of uh, audio hardware that is very expensive. And the timeline, Dork? The timeline is just you're just me horny on being me. 
It's just me being me, dude. <laughs> Love it. Unapologetically yourself. My, my goal is just being me and... That's right. Yeah, so it inspires just, me to be me, yeah. dork. You, yeah. you may not know that. Um, Anderson asks, what is your guys' favorite year of your lifetime and why? And how about your least? It's a weird question. Uh, um, my least would be whatever seventh grade was. Uh, that was like 2007, I think. My best? 2019 was like my best and worst year. Like, like, I'd probably say that was the my best and worst year was 2019. That's a good question. Um, uh, say 2015 when uh, YouTube popped off and then I made the decision to quit and my dreams came <laughs> true. Um, Jelly, or what about you, Dork? Your favorite, uh, I would say 20, what was it? Probably 2014. Was your best when, or worst? My, probably my best because I meant you guys. No. And then worst is probably 2020 because you still know us. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's probably 2013 because I graduated high school and I began working at my family's restaurant, which is well, which was complete ass. Wait, Dory, so we're the same age then. Right? 26? Yeah, yeah, we're, yeah. yeah. So I was gonna say I graduated in 2013. Yeah, yeah. Hey, wait, I graduated. No way, like, I graduated. <laughs> <It's my> <laughs> I put them up. Put them up. Put them up. <laughs> um, Jelly nine eight nine asks, "Who was the best and worst looking characters in all of the Star Wars movies?" I mean, best looking Han Solo. I mean, come on. I think a, uh, guys a fox. Phantom Menace. Uh, what should we call him? Can't think of his name for whatever. Uh, Darth Maul. Maul. <laughs> Some reason I couldn't remember his name. I, I think Darth Maul still looks sick. Or General Grievous. Episode Episode uh, Two. Obi Wan was the like best looking for me. Worst. Jar Jar. <laughs> Let's be real. Worst is Jar Jar. Yeah, I, I go would... with Jar Jar as well. <laughs> mm, yeah, maybe. He's bad. <laughs> um, we have one for Blue and Dork, so just Dork, I guess. Uh, what do you recommend to do to after catching up with the story in Final Fantasy fourteen? I finally caught up, and now IDK, what to do? There is so much, and I can't pick. Want to do UCOB, but there is a lot of work to do before I can attend. UCOB. What is that? No idea. Um, all I know is that uh, you could probably start doing your um, crafting, mining, fishing, just like your off uh, jobs. That or start uh, preparing for raids, like Eden Prime, if you have if you caught up with that, or any other type of raids from the last uh, expansions, because those raids are actually pretty nice. It's not really uh, hard to um, get, uh, uh, what was it, the word, to get to it. Like, it's pretty simple. You can uh, start, like, a party finder, or PF, to uh, find some uh, parties you want to raid with, and probably get the gear. That's what I do. Yeah. <laughs> That's um... all I know. Not blue. We love you. Already asked a question, dog. Um, Arnav asks from Rob's chat for Dork: One game only for the rest of your life. What is it? One and game? are Animal Crackers vegan? Yes, Animal Crackers. Are vegan. <laughs> nope. You're eating One game animals for the dude. rest of my life. It's it's the it's a message. That's a toughie. That is a tough question. Like I, I would have to, you'd have to think of a game that is just so like replayable at all times. Pokemon Heart Gold. That's a good one. Oh, Probably. That's solid, dude. Well, okay, I'm gonna say, it. if Gen Four remakes don't have Battle Frontier, don't even do them. <laughs> Not even worth <laughs> it. And don't just do a Battle Tower. You had the Battle Frontier, bro. <laughs> I swear to God, if they don't do it. I'm gonna act up. Just saying. 
I'm over it. Dude, Gen uh, 4 was so good. It was. Uh, the Heart Gold, dude? Ricar oh. Ricardio the Heart asks, if y'all were all-powerful deities, what would be the number one rule your worshippers would have to follow? Uh -huh. I know what dorks would be. Thou shalt be horny on main or something like that. Like you have to be horny on main. <laughs> like horny to an extent. Like don't like, like just uh, out of nowhere say like this is my fetish, and I want to be loud about it. Yeah, you gotta be like having morals, and learn to be considerate to others. That's all I have to say. Uh, um, you're not allowed to judge anyone for eating pizza. No matter how much, how often, nothing. I like it. Um, mine would be you have to hit the booth if someone asks. <laughs> um, Mew asks, what's your go-to gas station? Um, uh, whatever's closest to my house. <laughs> I think the Kings. Like, I do the thing yeah. where, like, uh, you, you do the fuel points, and then I kind of... I kind of stack them. I stack them up on my phone number. And then it's like, do you want to use your fuel points? I'm like, yeah. And then all of a sudden my, 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 my gas is like 15 cents off. And then I don't have to fill up my tank because I don't drive very much. <laughs> well, the closest to me right now, I always go to is probably Chevron. Aside from that, I doesn't really matter. I don't go inside get anything ever. So it's literally just, do you know what yours is? Uh, it's Kings. Oh, okay. There's it was a shell, but then that shut down. So then the next easiest was that. And then the one after that would be a 7-Eleven. Mm. Uh, Z-Train asks, it has been a while since Fruit has gave us some food hacks. What are some of your guys' favorites? Food uh, he gave you one with that Buffalo Wild Wings one. Yeah. That's today's food hack. Try it, dude. I haven't been there in a <laughs> while, but... Um... Uh, hey, switch it up. If you got creamy peanut butter in your uh, in your fr in your pantry, get some crunchy next time you go to the, you know, no, branch out a little bit. No, yes, no. go out and get some crunchy peanut. Uh, butter. That's literally the part I hate about nuts. So, no, thank you. Okay, hear go me out. out. If you ever uh, go uh, shopping, grocery uh, shopping, I, I don't do that though. Pick up <laughs> a bag of the Hawaiian barbecue chips. And grab a frozen uh, Stouffer's, heat it up, and uh, dump half of the bag on top of your lasagna. It's a game changer. Really? Uh, it's sweet, salty. It's nice. My dad would say cottage oh, cheese yeah. and pineapple. It's healthy and a lot of protein. Um, but he loses me at cottage cheese. But that would be my dad's. What's uh, so last... bad about cottage cheese, by the way? It's the texture, it, dude. It just looks fucking ass. Once uh, it gets in there, it's just... Oh, oh, oh. I have a problem with foods that have weird textures. That's, me too. I can't it's do it. Like um, a lot of fat on meat. I can't do it. Yeah, I cut the fat off, too. Like, I, don't once like it fat, hits, I don't like fat. Once it hits my throat, dude, I'm going to throw up. My dad <laughs> eats, like, like, you know, cartilage, like on the bone? My dad will... Yeah. I hope my dad eats that. Uh, well, I told you my <laughs> uncle... Just like you give him a buffalo wing, it'll be gone. And I mean, That's... he eats the bone. Like he'll do all the meat and then he just <laughs> eats the whole bone. Jesus. Uh, Kenneth That's asks, uh, who is your favorite Attack on Titan character and why are they your favorite? Um, mine's Erwin. I love Erwin. He is the beacon of hope. Mine would be Levi. And he doesn't need the spotlight. He just gets, he knows what needs to get done, and he gets it done. Probably Sasha. She's just there to eat and vibe. Sasha Blouse. Yeah. <laughs> She's literally just to eat, vibe. Potato girl. <laughs> yep. <laughs> well, uh, Dork, I want to thank you for joining us for episode 69. Thank you, Dork. Yeah, Adi thanks Dark. for having me. It was really cool. I didn't know that Mr. Fruit did your OC. That that was a fun yeah. thing. And next War. time, I want to see the NSFW you get of your <laughs> Oh, loud. Uh, where can people out. find you, Dork, if they want to kind of catch up on your content or anything like that? Honestly, I'm always on Twitter, but even then, be, pre 18 be plus. prepared. 
mute me, turn off my retweets, <laughs> and then you'll be you'll be you'll be fine. I I'd be honest, Dork. I got you muted. You know, I it's not it's out of love. Yeah, I know. <laughs> and then what what's your Twitch? Just Dork Shadow? Dork Shadow on Twitch and Dork Shadow on YouTube. Heard it I here, will folks. Uh, soon up, uh, upload a video or POV of my Among Us. Oh, Pong. I'm excited for uh, whenever you um, launch your VTuber, dude. I'm yeah. going to make sure to retweet and not stream that day. Hell yeah. Hollow Fruit, dude. Let's get it. We're all doing <laughs> uh, VTuber. You guys can catch me at twitch.tv slash hollow Rob EV. Uh, you can catch Blue Westflow, who had to dip early, uh, at twitch.tv slash Blue Westflow, twitter.com slash Blue Westflow, YouTube Blue Westflow. Look for Blue Westflow. That's Hanzo, man. And you can find me anywhere, a uh, Mr. Fruit. Uh, please shout out to the Mr. Fruit Minecraft, though. That'd be great. Thanks. And that concludes this episode of GG Over Easy 69. It'll never be the same. So we appreciate you joining us on this journey, as well as Dork. With that, Woo-hoo! we close this episode. Hope you all have a great week. We'll see you next Sunday. Arigato. Arigato. Arigato.